Hi Lux Travelers, welcome back to my channel. Jake here with Lux Travel. We are a New York based full service luxury travel agency helping our clients from all over the world to travel to different places in the world. Today uh, we are arriving at Hotel Punta Islita and uh, Hotel Punta Islita is part of Marriott's autograph collection brand and that means each different autograph collection hotel has its own unique backstory, ethics, and um, how the brand came to about, the philosophy of the hotel. So Hotel Punta Islita have been here um, for quite a while, I think 1992. So uh, it's been here for 28 years and it's um, situated in a very remote part of Guanagaste region on the coast but much much uh, more south than the usual Gulf of Papagayo and Cocoa Beach those hot tourism spots over here um, it's quite just like set up by it by itself next to a very tiny town called Islita we are as you can see arriving um, in the, at night in the evening so you can't really see the stunning view of what lies outside of our suite however um, don't worry it's gonna show up later in this clip as I did film through our stay um, that includes majority of the time will be the daytime checking in uh, process is quite nice um, they the receptionist Victor set us down um, in the next to uh, in the bar lounge area which is the type of um, checking in experience I would like to experience normally however it's not as often as um, I would like to be carried out here in Costa Rica the um, suite that we're staying is a junior suite with a whirlpool the whirlpool during the day um, it's not too hot but it does get heated up and then it's hotter than the normal temperature in the main pool and the, the beach bar uh, the beach club pool i really love um the atmosphere here at hotel bunda islita even though the decors are um, not super modern but more on that later because they do plan on having a major renovation to keep the hardware alliance so um, they have already done a renovation i should say in 2020 to keep the hardware appliances and like water system um, ac all of these things that makes you feel better but you don't really see um, as appearances the next step is um, to update the hotel um, rooms and other common areas so it will be there will be update coming even though as it is i still really enjoy our stay because it's um, that sense of relaxation here that really uh, draws me in and i'm already planning my visit to come back i'm pretty sure you will love it too when you do come um, our whirlpool is facing the ocean and this bay that it lights up during the night because it is bioluminescent so if you have some time during the night do come here take a walk by the beach and check out the bioluminescent um, water in the middle of the night other than that um, the, the main part of the hotel which composes from the main restaurant the bar and pool area reception concierge um, you also have a separate spa area that has jacuzzi and a um, colder area it's not an ice plunge like um, sometimes I usually am used to it is just a normal temperature pool that is um, set up as a contrast to the, the jacuzzi um, 
you also have aside from the hotel suites you also have family categories such as three bedroom villas two bedroom units and residences so that um cl that clip is um towards the late latter end of this video aside from this main area you also have access to the um beach club in the beach that is about I want to say two three minutes in a um, shuttle or a golf cart that we have drove um, the beach club is really nice it's really calm as well another summer bar at, at the beach club pool area a restaurant called Aura and the restaurant upstairs in the hotel main area is called Alma um, then you have uh, just like a lot of beach because the beach is really wide and as it is quite secluded over here you don't really see too many people on the beach at all one thing I um, need to point out is that the activities here are included in your stay so we partook in a mixology class we made and then tried three different cocktails it was a lot of fun you also have tico's cooking class and you can learn masa more it's a local art form in casa uh, museum which is in the little town islita and a lot of other activities such as um, board, bird watching hike monkey tours um, a ton of other things the only two I believe the only actually three I should say that is not included is zip lining um, horseback riding and Macau hike which is operated by third parties that is a lot of inclusion in activities and I really enjoyed um, this to be able to enjoy these some activities that's part of your stay in terms of Scarlet Macau, that is that was a big draw for me. I would have loved to see Macau's in Wild, but because of our um, stay schedule, we didn't participate in a Macau walk. However, because these Macau's are here in Wild and this is like their natural habitat and sanctuary, we saw a lot of Macau's. By the beach club just eating away the like almond um, nuts on the trees as well as in flight by the hotel main pool area um, on the trees from different trees and just flying from one tree to the other it's stunning this bird has so many vibrant colors in, in, in such a compact body it's unbelievable until you see it and um, I have included some footage towards uh, I believe all the way to the end of this video so you can see that for yourself too and I can almost guarantee if you come over here you can enjoy the same experiences so the, um, I mean I don't recommend you walk to the beach hotel does provide shuttle on request so whenever you want to go you can just let front desk know um, that you want to go to the beach club and the shuttle is usually there if it's not there it would be there in five minutes I tried walking down and it was quite confusing to me I actually walked way past um, where I should have turned to go to the beach club and then walked back up to the other end of the property the property is way larger than it is seen on map um, I have to talk about the town of Islita. It is a tiny, tiny little beach town. It is composed of one block. However, this one block is really beautiful and has a lot of characteristics. There um, is a grocery store, a casa museum, um, a church, and a really, really some really really colorful houses and the school 
all of these um, parts that I mentioned and, 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 and then actually there's also three restaurants um, these establishments that I mentioned are, are all decorated and kind of curated with the art that is very prevalent here in East Lida town and um, a lot of mosaic on the wall it's just very um, I, I don't really know how to put it in words but it's an incredible feeling to spend the time and uh, hang out a little bit in this tiny little town and know someone and talk to someone and know that when you come back after a few years you'll be able to speak with the same person because this town has like about 100 people living in it <laughs> it's um, I think it's something not to be missed to make your stay to make your stay even more smooth I suggest having a golf cart with you um, you can easily run that with me or with the hotel front desk when you stay because um, it really gives you a lot of flexibility on um, when you want to leave the hotel to go see the town and come to the beach club it just um, it's another layer of convenience especially when you stay in the villas which is um, sometimes a little further in walk or commute from the hotel main area as a Marriott stars travel agency partner when you book your stay with us we are able to provide additional benefits that you will otherwise not receive on your own so do send us an email via my email address linked down below I would love to curate the best um, travel experience for you to Hotel Punta Islida or other parts in the world.